She barely even looks like my sister anymore. Well, it's been a while since we've seen her. That's not what it... I mean, look at her. She needs a machine to breathe for her and one to feed her. She doesn't know that. You know, the doctor said she's not in any pain. She's not aware of any machines. That's the problem. She's not aware. I used to think my sister was in there somewhere, but I don't think that anymore. And, and the doctors say she needs those machines to live, and my mother refuses to take her off of them. So what am I supposed to do? My mother freaked when I suggested that being hooked up to machines might not have been what Evangeline wanted. Well, it's, it's a touchy subject for her, and you're, you're very direct. My mother accused me of wanting Evangeline out of her I way. I know she's being unreasonable, but you... You are not going to tell me to calm down. She's Evangeline's mom, Layla. The last thing she wants to think about is ending her daughter's life. It's not like I enjoy it. I know. I know, but see, you, you can see the big picture. Your mom, well, she really needs to believe that Evangeline is going to snap out of this and get better. I get that. I do. But my mom can't see what it means for Evangeline to be hooked up to life support. She's not going to get better. No, the doctors have been very clear about that. All I want is for my mother to do what's right for my sister. I knew what Evangeline wanted. We never talked about anything like that. Did she ever say anything to you? No, 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 but who talks about stuff like that? My sister. That's exactly the sort of thing she thought about. Maybe if she... Drew, drew up some documents like a living will or something we would know what to do and we'd have to honor it and my mother would have to too are you talking about killing your sister again is talking about killing anyone we both love evangeline and you know that well, nothing says love like avoiding your sister all these months while you're dating her ex-boyfriend. Except maybe coming home just to tell her that you're marrying him. I know. I was wrong to wait, but we're here now, and we're just trying to do what's right for her. By pulling the plug? We were wondering if there's any way of knowing what she wanted, just in case something like this happened. What Evangeline wanted? What she wants, Layla, is to live. And when she gets better, you're going to be so ashamed of yourself for even thinking this. I know you don't want to think like this, but when you moved Vanja's things from Landview and brought her home, you must have gone through all her documents. Did she have a living will or something that says what her wishes are? I don't even have anything like that, Layla. Do you? No, but Vanja was a lawyer. She must have drawn up papers like that all the time for her clients. It's possible she prepared one for herself. Maybe Leila and I can go by the house and see if we can find it. <laughs>